acceptance rejection technique we'll consider um, the next type of method for generating the random variates and uh, that is called as acceptance rejection technique so as the name itself tell, uh, tells uh, we are going to check with a certain condition if the condition is true accept it otherwise reject it so uh, what we'll be doing is some um, uh, in this the random variate is accepted uh, otherwise, that is what checked whether it is satisfy some condition. If so, the random variate is accepted. Otherwise, the random variate is rejected. When new random variate is required, new random number is generated and the procedure is repeated. You just you should be keep this in mind. When new random variate is required, new random number is generated and the procedure is repeated. Useful particularly when the inverse um, cumulative distribution function does not exist. It, uh, it is nothing but when we find difficulty in finding f inverse of r, uh, it is better to always go with the acceptance rejection technique. Uh, the procedure or this method it is also called as um, thinning because uh, when we are using um, the non-stationary Python process, we'll see how the values will be go on reducing it. So hence it is also called as what? Thinning. The procedure of acceptance rejection technique for generating the random variate for uniform uh, distribution is illustrated. It is just an example for the uniform uh, distribution. Uh, we'll see how um, this acceptance rejection technique can be used for uniform distribution by assuming uh, some value between or by assuming some interval. Suppose an analyst needs to devise a method for generating the random variates x uniformly distributed okay, between the interval, what is the interval? One divided by four and one. The acceptance rejection technique for this situation has the following steps. The first one is what? We need to generate a random number. The random numbers can be generated by using any one of the random number um, generation techniques like LCM or combined uh, linear um, congruential method or um, with any other method if exist. Then if, okay, whatever the random number that is generated, we are going to check with what? That is one by four. If R is greater than one by four, accept it. Fine, else go to the next step. That is what is happening. If R is greater than or equal to one divided by four, except X equals to R. There is nothing but this is the first random variate. Then go to step three. Otherwise, okay, we have step two B here. What is that? If R is less than one divided by four, reject R and return to step one. It is nothing but generate what? A new random number. If another uniform random variate on one by four within the interval one by four comma one is needed repeat the procedure from step one otherwise stop it fine now r itself does not have desired distribution but r conditioned on the even r is greater than or equal to one divided by four that is does not have to be a desired distribution fine so how uh, we have come to this is what uh, it is just a to fear, consider the interval one by four and one. So they are between A and B. So less than or equal to A, less than B, less than one. So then if I just take the probability with respect to uh, the interval, two interval values, A as one by four and B as one by, that is one. So probability of A less than R, the random variable R less than B or the random number B divided by probability of the intervals, whatever the values, one divided by four, less than or equal to R, less than or equal to one, can be replaced with B minus A divided by three divided by four. It is nothing but one minus one by four. If you just do it, you'll get this three by four, which is the correct probability for the uniform distribution on the interval or the range one divided by four comma one. Fine. So you can see here the efficiency of the acceptance rejection technique depends on being able to minimize the number of rejections, able to minimize the number of rejections. So it is just an example for the uniform distribution. Now let's take up how this acceptance rejection technique um, can be applied for Python distribution. In the Python distribution, you know, we always have a parameter that is alpha. A Python random variable n with mean alpha greater than zero as the probability mass function, okay, defined as e to the power of minus alpha into alpha to the power of n divided by n factorial, where n value ranges from zero, one, two, and so on. Here, n can be thought of can be thought of the number of arrivals from the Python arrival process in one unit of 
time. The procedure for generating the Python random variate n is given by the following steps. Okay, so these are the steps that we need to follow for what type of uh, technique acceptance rejection technique on which distribution the Python distribution set n equals to 0 p equals to 1. Fine. So this is the procedure we need to follow n equals to 0 and p equals to 1. Step 2 generate a random number r n plus 1 initially n value will be 0 and replace p with p into r to the power of n plus 1. Fine. So it is nothing but we are performing what is the second operation p equals to p into r of n plus 1 where r is a random number. p value is given as what? That is 1. Fine. And once again since we have e to the power of minus lambda whatever the p value we have here we are going to compare that with e to the power of minus lambda. If p value is less than e to the power of minus lambda then accept n equals to n that except n equals to n where n can be thought of as what the number of arrivals in which now in one unit of time so n equals to n initially n value will be zero so n value will be set as zero otherwise and this will be what the random variate number otherwise reject the current n okay discard this n value increase the value of n by n plus one and return to step two Fine. Again, repeat this process okay, for generating those many number of random variates. So these are the three steps to be followed fine, for generating the random variates for what type of distribution? The Python distribution. So let's take up an example here. Um, using the acceptance rejection technique, generate three Python variates. How many variates we need to generate? Three. Until we are generating three uh, Python variates, we need to follow the procedure continuously. With mean, that is a parameter alpha, uh, given the random numbers are, so the random numbers are given here. Fine. Now, with mean alpha, given random numbers are, and so on. Fine. So actually with mean alpha equals 0 0.2 has to come here. Actually the scanning has not happened properly. So it is alpha equals to 0 0.2. Given that the mean is what? 0 0.2. The procedure is as follows. What is the first procedure? Set n equals to 0, p equals to 1. Same as here. n equals to 0, p equals to 1. After that, calculate Okay, Rn plus 1. So it is nothing but Rn equals to 0 plus 1, R1. So we are going to consider first random number from the series. For this random number, we are going to generate what? The variate, the random, uh, random variate. So we are going to consider this, fine. So now P equals to P into Rn plus 1. What is um, P now 1? into rn plus 1 is 0 0.4357 multiply that so we'll get the answer as p equals to 0 0.4357 compare this with e to the power of minus lambda if this is less than e to the power of minus lambda okay then set the value of n equals to n which is a random variate for the first random number otherwise what we need to do we need to discard and increment the value of n by n plus 1 and repeat from which step that is step 2. Now check here 0 0.4357 less than e to the power of minus 0 0.2 is true. It is true. Yes. So here except n equals to n, n value is 0. So here is the first random variate. It is nothing but when n equals to 0 is the first random variate. Okay, since we require three random variates, we restart with step one again. Now again set n equals to zero, p equals to one. Now rn plus one equals to r1 equals to 0 0.416. So we have already uh, identified the random variate for the first random number. Take the second one, that is 0 0.416 because we are starting the procedure again from the first. So 0 0.416. Fine. So check whether this is um, less than e to the power of minus alpha. So here, if you just check the value, it is true. So 
n's except n equals to n again n value is zero so the second random variate value is also zero so we have got the first random variate zero the second random variate number as also what the zero okay now third random variate again start from step one n equals to zero p equals to one now rn plus one is r1 consider the third random variable that is 0 0.835 multiply that with one We'll get 0 0.835 compare that with okay e to the power of minus alpha alpha is given as how much now 0 0.2 so e to the power of minus 0 0.2 so 0 0.835 is not less than 0 0.817 that is e to the power of minus alpha is the same number 0 0.817 so what we are supposed to do n's reject okay capital n assigning with the value what zero just reject it just reject it increment the value of n with how much now that is n plus one then once again go to step two so we are in step two now now again consider rn plus one equals to r2 which is equal to now whatever the number we considered here okay 0 0.835 we are not able to generate the random variate so consider this random number and check whether we are able to generate the random variate so consider 0.9552 fine so when you consider 0.9552 fine the p value will be 0.8353 so initially the p value will be because we are going to set p equals to okay p into correct rn plus 1 when p was 1 it is 1 into the previous value was how much uh, the previous random is just 0 0.835 so it is 0 0.83 8353 okay so this new value will be the value of what now p fine now i have not stopped the process i have not come to the end of the step three but again since the condition is false i'm going back to what repeat step two when again repeating the step two i'm going to consider a new random variable the next thing is what again i need to multiply that with p into rn plus one rn will become now r2 so increment the value of n by 1 so 1 plus 1 is r2 so here the previous value of p is 0 0.8353 multiply that with 0 0.9952 that is what is happening here fine so we'll get the answer as 0 0.8313 compare that with again e to the power of minus alpha is a false again so even when n equals to 1 is also rejected increment the value of n by n plus 1 now it will become to again go to step two i have not come to step three and i have ended my procedure again i'm repeating it by going to step two so in step two rn plus one equals to r3 now the new value of p is 0 0.8313 multiply that with the last random number what is the random number that is 0 0.8004 so multiply that with 0 0.8004 so what is the answer we are getting 0 0.6654 compare that with e to the power of minus alpha so it is less hence it is accepted so if it is accepted set the value of n as what the next random variate so the value of n has been changed to 2 so n equals to 2 is accepted thus the required random variate are 0 0 0 0, 0, 0 comma 0 comma 2 we have asked to generate three random variates we have generated three random variates the complete calculation can be tabulated in the form of table or can be summarized in the form of table or it can be tabulated now consider n value first time the n value was zero the second time it was zero third time it was zero fine next it became one next it became two so that is what we have tabulated here then rn plus one first time we consider the first random numbers so just go on giving all the random numbers one after the other p value first time it was multiplied with one same as it is multiplied with one same as it is multiplied with one same as it is then multiplied with these two getting 0 0.8313 multiplied then uh, sorry this one uh, 0 0.8313 with um, 0 0.8004 we are getting 0 0.6654 
fine now check whether p less than or equal to minus alpha condition true except so the variate is n equals to 0 then accept it variant uh, random variate generated is n equals to 0 this is rejected this is rejected so once again accepted that time n equals to small n the random variate is n equals to 2 fine so this is how we are going to generate the random variate for what type of distribution now the Python distribution using which technique now the acceptance rejection technique thank you